Definitely when you go over there, just try to have an open mind. Like, if you don't really want to interact in the Japanese way and stick to your sort of habits that you have in Sydney, then you're never really going to experience what living there is like. So it's a bit of a waste if you go over there without an open mind. So best thing to do is to make local friends. Don't just stick around at your uni all the time. First thing I did was um, met my professors. I think that's really important. Um, building relationships, talking to people, just networking and letting them share in your experience and you sharing in theirs as well. Um, by building relationships, you're, you're just creating networks with people and it just makes the experience so much more comfortable and you're not so worried about, um, you know, just adapting to a new place, I guess. Um, and also just, I guess, exploring your surroundings is really important. Um, knowing how to get around, knowing what to do and just if you have trouble, talk to someone um, and just um, really taking it on board, like taking your experience on board. I worked very closely with my supervisor. He was fantastic. He, he I let me shadow him, so I followed him around and watched what he did. He would introduce me to people. It was uh, very clear in the mental health industry that you had to be introduced more formally before they felt comfortable. And it was key people I had to meet in order for the rest of the group to feel comfortable with me. So I guess it was following him, learning what he did for his daily jobs, um, asking him questions about how he got into the industry and finding out more about him made it more um, easy to understand how I could get into the industry as well. Um, when I was there I did cooking, um, that was a big aspect, they had a kitchen in the, um, in the shop and I got to go in there and cook and cut lots of carrots, like bucket loads of carrots, <laughs> but it was a good bonding session so all the um, clients would come in and we'd all just be chopping fruits and vegetables all together to make the food and then we'd all sit down and eat together. So the place that I was at had breakfast, lunch and dinner served and the clients could just come and buy or for a really low price, so, but they all cooked it together which aimed to teach them life skills. So a lot of the activities were about life skills. Um, we did other ones like teach them to clean and teach them to cook, teaching them to write. Some of them didn't have basic literacy skills, so trying to improve those skill set. And then I was asked to give a presentation as part of the research back on how could I contribute back to the service. Well, I think you need to realise that doing an internship like this is quite different to doing a, you know, work placement in a corporate atmosphere. It is quite an experience that you need to personalise. You need to make the most out of it for yourself. And to do that, you need to ask questions. So, for example, when you're there, you need to, it's a really good idea to speak to a lot of the people that are already working there and ask them why are they there? What kind of objectives did they have in mind and have they been met? And you can sort of reflect and bounce off the ideas that they give you. A lot of the times you find that people that work in these sort of legal centres, this is not the only thing that they do. They do many other things as well. So ask them questions about what else do they do and how do they, th those skills transfer across. Um, I found it really useful to just instead of just asking, okay, what can I do today and doing it, actually just doing a lot of background research on the legal centre itself and finding where does it sit in, in respect to other legal centres? What is its actual role and how I can contribute towards that? So what's really important, I think, is just initiative. You're not going to go there and have someone sit you down and give you the answers to all your questions. You do need to really go there and find out the questions and answers for yourself. So yes, that can be challenging, but I suppose that's the whole idea. It is quite a real world atmosphere and you need to really go outside your comfort zone.